Hello, in this lecture, we're going to record the transaction of paying employees wages with cash. So here's the employer paying the wages to the employees with cash. We're going to record the transaction on the left hand side and then post that in a shorthand fashion to the trial balance in order to see the reaction to the other accounts that will be impacted as well as to the accounting equation. First question, is cash affected? In this case, it is because we're paying cash. So cash is being paid at this time. Uh, is cash going up or down? For the employer, it's going down because it's being paid out. Therefore, cash is going down. Does cash have a debit or credit balance? In this case, it has a debit. And we can see it on the trial balance before we post it because it does not have brackets. Debit balance. Therefore, how do we make something go down? We do the opposite thing to it. So if it's a debit, the opposite's a credit. We're going to credit cash. Now, that's going to go on the bottom. Notice I left some space here. I'm going to think about cash first, even though it is the credit. Credits traditionally go on the bottom. So we're going to have the credits on the bottom. What's that going to do if we were to post it? We're going to say, well, cash is a debit balance. We're going to credit it. And that's going to make cash go down from 110000 in this case, by 600 to 109400 We are then going to debit something. What are we going to debit? Who did we pay? We paid the employees. And if you have a trial balance, you'll look through it and you'll say, hmm, how about wages expense or employees expense or something like that, payroll expense? That's going to be something in those area. And we know that if we credited cash, we're going to debit the other account. If we think about it, it also makes sense because expenses are always going to be debited. They're always going to bring down net income. Net income is going to be the credit of income minus the debit of expenses. Therefore, every expense is pretty much going to be debited pretty much all the time. The, the employees never pay us. We only pay the employees. Debits go into the expenses. We had zero in there already at this point, And we're going to have a debit of 600. That's going to bring the balance to 600. What is the impact of our on our accounting equation? We're going to say that assets are going down. Liabilities are going to remain the same. No impact on the orange accounts. What happens to the equity section? It's a little tricky. We can see that equity is going down. Why is that? You might ask. You say, well, I see a positive 600 here. That is not really a positive 600 when we're posting it. Remember, what that means is it's a debit. And we know that in the equity section, the credits are going to win. Therefore, the credits, all if we add all this up, the credits generally win. A debit's going to decrease the equity section. We can see that in terms of net income as well. If we're going to see net income as part of the equity section, we can see net income went down. Why? Because the credits are income. The debits are expenses. So the 10000 minus the 600 in this case is the 9400 That 600 brought that 10000 down in this case. So the total equity went down. The total equity being everything in the blue section, the 100 credit plus the 10,000 credit minus the 600, that would be the entire equity section in this case.